Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 17th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours as things have quieted down. That's right. That very active sunspot region that produced almost 10 X-class solar flares in the past week as it was Earth-facing. We had multiple CMEs and an amazing auroras across the world. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have a very big sunspot region coming in as well. Left-hand side, big plasma filament. Looking at outgoing here. Last flare from 3664, AR3664. And also quite a small shot coming from one of the sunspot regions there. I'll get a closer look here at it. So there is our last X, X flare that shot from our sun. Pretty active regions there, Earth facing. Did put us into a KP of 5. And here's that little shot that I was telling you about. Sunspot region. Looks like it blasted a huge plasma shot into the abyss. And that was the last few images of the last 48 hours. So just waiting for more imagery to come in. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, we can see coronal hole region, northern hemisphere, and as well pointing out that large plasma filament in the southern part of our sun. Amazing images here. Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you all for watching. Having a look here at another light. We can see the heliosphere of our sun in action. Magnetic fields, umbral fields from the sunspot regions. Incoming and outgoing there. We have 11 sunspots observing on the surface of our sun. Having a look at those sunspots in motion here. Some black spots on our sun right now. And here is that monstrous sunspot region turning in. Another light. Just amazing images here zoomed in to a massive sunspot region coming in for an Earth-facing party. Current space weather conditions. G1, a minor geomagnetic impacts. G2 is expected for later tonight. High latitude power systems may experience voltage alarms, long duration outages. Solar winds are coming in around 448 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, two recent X-class solar flares that was back on the 15th. And our sun has gone quiet. Solar proton flux coming down. Geomagnetic activity hopping up today quickly from that most recent small event. And here are the CMEs that are going to be affecting us the next few days. A little glancing blows from minor CMEs. Space weather prediction spirals showing all this space weather coming our way. A little green circle there is Earth. Nothing like what we've seen over the last little bit. But this is the update. Hashtag no fear here, everybody. ISPWA Space Prediction Spiral showing the most recent CME taking off from our sun. Not Earth directed. And here on Lasco 2, you can see Mercury coming in. This is the last 48 hours of imagery. Most recent CMEs and as well Mercury coming in to go around the sun. Very cool stuff to be able to witness and experience with you all. Thank you for watching. Lasco 2 here, showing the last 48 hours of events. And as well, a quick shot of Mercury coming in to go around the sun. Now let's get an earthquake update. As we were sitting at about 250 earthquakes, 24-hour period. Still looking somewhat busy. Minor activity across the North American plate. 3.8 reported yesterday. Tennessee, minor seismicity north of Yellowstone. Puerto Madero, 
Mexico, 4.6 earthquake, active volcanoes in the region, new, con uh, new volcano constitution erupted overnight. Minor seismicity there, Puerto Rico, South American plate, Argentina seeing a 4.1 earthquake, Baracas. 4.9 earthquake there, South Atlantic, that was reported yesterday. Quiet across the African plate and through Europe. 4.6 there towards the North Pole, that was reported yesterday. 4.1 earthquake here, northern China. That was reported yesterday. A lot of the new activity is mostly Alaska and Hawaii. Those deep earthquakes in Fiji, still from yesterday, not much has happened since. But we've seen some volcanic eruptions. The pressure has been releasing through the Mexico border. Minor seismicity up and through the Aleutian Islands and Alaska. Having a look at USGS, the reporting 247 earthquakes 24 hour period and very quiet evidently here across the western ring of fire southwest ring of fire not much to report and then lots of minor seismicity up into the Aleutian Islands all along the islands and up into Alaska lots of SO2 coming from that region Hawaii reporting double the earthquakes yesterday, sitting at 40 today as there's a small swarm here occurring just off the southeast side of the Comet Summit Caldera of Kilauea volcano, the big island under a lot of stress right now, minor seismicity increasing. Looking across the United States, no major swarms to report. White City, New Mexico normally is minor swarms. But notable activity there north of Yellowstone Lake and as well through Idaho. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Largest still being the 6.4 magnitude earthquake reported in Mexico a few days ago. Pressure is building though. It was very quiet for a couple days during this space weather event. Expecting something building, but the pressure is being released somewhere. And I'm pretty sure the volcanoes have a big part in that right now. As we have 48 active, actually 49 now with the new constitution in Mexico erupting. 49 active volcanoes. Heads up, North American plate, something is building. Now let's have a look at SO2 forecast. Big plumes coming out of Kamchatka, eastern Russia, sweeping across the North Pacific, as well as I said, SO2 and pressure being released through the Aleutian Islands, and as well, the fires in northern BC. And then this big blob of SO2 coming out of Mexico, all of that SO2 smoke and particulates heading up into the Gulf of Mexico and all of the rain. It's going to be mixed in there almost like clay. For some regions. Big eruption here. New volcano. Uh, northern Indonesia. And as well. Papua New Guinea. Towards New Caledonia. Overlooking Europe. South America. There's still quite a bit of SO2. That's. Lingering around the African continent. From the large. Mount Ruang volcano eruption about two weeks ago. But this is a pretty big deal with all this ash and particulates, sulfur dioxide emissions being mixed in with a low pressure system that is sweeping across the United States right now. And you can see here, this is the visible satellite imagery from today. Quite a bit of smoke and SO2 all through the Gulf of Mexico right now. Also notable there in the Central Pacific, two tropical storms developing. But yeah, nasty air quality for most of Mexico right now. Belize, Guatemala. And all these particulates are being swept into the low pressure system that's sweeping across the United States right now. 
So we're going to have some gritty windshields from all this rain mixed with particulates from very active volcanoes through Mexico. Visible here on satellite imagery. Now let's have a look at world weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. Extreme weather sweeping across the Gulf states right now and will continue to move eastward. Then a big low comes in for next weekend. Of course, May long weekend. And then 22nd to the 23rd, a big system there sweeping through central United States up, up into northeastern Canada. A couple lows moving in for the long range forecast and possible snow through the higher elevations across the west. And extreme weather here developing for the long range. And as well, a pretty windy and rainy system for the Atlantic provinces. Overlooking Europe and Russia, Southeast Asia. Still got a lingering low over Hungary right now. Low pressure system wrapping itself around Iceland in the North Atlantic. And then some big systems there coming in. High pressure ridge is pretty dominant though over France right now. Very dry conditions. I hope some systems come your way. It could be dangerous. Let's have a look over Australia, New Zealand, South Africa. Tropical system there uh, north of Madagascar. Strong system sweeping across Tasmania. And then long-range forecast here. Pretty big system heading up into parts of eastern India and Myanmar. Very big, strong system. Tight isobar lines there. Very strong winds. Possible tropical system there for the northern Philippines. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific for moisture and winds. Watch for high-pressure domination all across the west coast right now. Strong system north of Hawaii is going to keep things interesting for the next little bit. And extreme weather, spring weather, all across the central and eastern United States and Canada. So heads up, everybody. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by last night's major storms through Texas. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.